All right. Shalom, Yashirala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, before I go any further, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still guard her to the hours of always and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yachims out there who is pushing this truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Whether people here, whether they forbear. You know, back at it with another lesson through the spirit. The name of this lesson is going to be called The Lord is No Respect of Persons, man. You know, because a lot of people think just because of their status or the way how they look, the way how they dress, uh, how much money they have, that the Lord is going to, uh, how should I say, spare them from judgment, man. You know? But we're going to prove according to the scriptures, you know, that the Lord is not the Lord is not a respect of persons, man. Whether you're a man, woman, child, or uh, old person, man. You know, as it's illustrated on the screen. This is, that's the first, that's what I'm going to go into. This is the book of um, Genesis, the seventh chapter, and uh, verse four, or uh, seven and four, then I'm going to jump to 21. And it reads, for yet seven days, this is the Lord speaking to Noah, Yahweh speaking to Noah. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth in forty days and forty nights. And every living and every living self uh, self saying that I may uh, will us like a, that I have made what I destroy from out the face of the earth. Right. So exactly. So every living thing that Yahweh had made, or Yahweh Shema Shah had made, the Lord is going to destroy it, man. You know, but the Lord, I mean, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, man. So he delivered eight souls, which is Noah and his family. Verse 21. Uh, yeah, come on, verse 21. And all flesh died. Let me read that one more time. This is the book of Genesis 7 to 21. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth. Exactly, man. You know? So it don't matter if you're a man, it don't matter if you're a woman, it don't matter if you're a child, it don't matter if you're a baby, you know. If you're not white, if you're not right with your about Shima Shah, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know? The Lord is a man of war, man. A man of war doesn't care if you're a man or a woman. He don't care about what how much money you got. It don't matter how much, how much, how how beautiful you are as a woman, you know? It don't matter, man. Yeah, you don't even matter if 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 you real real cool, man. Girl, man, if you're not of the elect, which Lord's willing we be of the elect, starting off with our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, it don't matter. It don't matter your status in life. And it reads, verse twenty one. This is Genesis seven and twenty one once again. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and and of every creeping thing that creep upon the earth and every man right exactly so you really just think just because it says man in that scripture that it was just talking about one gender no man man and women man you know man women and children man and old people man that wasn't right with the lord got flooded man got got destroyed man you know uh so that was that was that was the point of that scripture so now um Matter of fact, let me, I'm gonna get one also in the or another one in the Old Testament. This is the book of First Samuel, the fifteenth chapter, and the third verse. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll start from the top. This is the book of First Samuel, fifteen and one. Samuel also said unto Saul, Yahweh sent me to anoint thee as king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore, hearken thou to the voice of the words of the Lord, right? Because the Lord. Yahweh Shema Shah always spoken by his men, the prophets, man. For this instant right here, the prophet is Samuel. In the reads, verse 2, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, I remember that which Amalek did to Israel 
how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Verse 3. Now go and smite. The word smite means to kill Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both man and woman and infant and suckling ox and sheep cattle and camel and ass so the lord told saul through the prophet samuel to go and destroy everything man i don't give a crap about how beautiful a woman is i don't care how rich the king is i don't care about the kids i don't care about the old women you can go to the to, to the children of amalek the you're going to go to the amalekites and destroy everything, man. I don't want the cattle. I don't want the oxen. I don't want the riches. I want you to destroy them, man. You know, that that was a, a, a order from Yah from Yahweh uh, uh, to give unto Saul, man, through the prophet Samuel, man. But of course, when you read on in the story, uh, 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 Saul didn't obey the voice of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? He spared the king. I think his name was Agag. And he kept the best uh, uh, things that, they, that the Amalekites owned to sacrifice unto the Lord, man. Which the Lord didn't say that, man. He said, utterly destroyed him, man. You know, so this is the, see, see, but, but I thought the God of the Bible was all about love according to these wacky, tacky Christians, man. You know? So now we're going to get Malachi, the third chapter. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. In the east, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Exactly, the scripture just said, I am the Lord Yahweh. The Lord is not going to change, man. You know, he said, I am Yahweh, I change not. So, the Lord is not going to change his mind on the things that he wants to happen, man. You know, and the things that he wants to happen is the destruction, the downfall of America, man. A.K.A. Babylon the Great. You know? It's just plain and simple, man. The Lord's going to carry out his, 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 his mission, man. You know? So now, we're going to uh, go from there. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me get this one, too. Let me get the one in Hebrews. This is the book of Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews. Um, Hebrews. 13 verse 8 and it reads Yahweh Shahamashiach who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever right so the son of man who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ doesn't change his mind either as a matter of fact let me get another precept this is the book of St. John chapter 10 verse 30 this is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking the words are written in red I and my father are one exactly now here it is, these these uh uh these these uh Roman Catholic churches and these wacky tacky Christians use this scripture to say that the Lord uh Yahweh Shah and Yahweh are the same entity, which that's not true, man. The Lord was saying that see they err they err not knowing the scriptures. The, the uh the son come in the same mindset of his father, man, which means the son is gonna carry out the things that that his father wants to carry out, man. You know. Just like if you have a father, right, and you're very close to your father, the thing that he's like, you're going to pretty much like, you know, the thing that he tells you to do, you're going to do, you're going to, uh, you're going to carry out the orders, man. You know, they came they come in the same like my state, man. They like the same things, man. You know, that they're, they're similar, but they're not the same person, you know, although they may look the same, act the same, you know, think the same, but they're not the same person. You know, they're two different people with, with the same spirit, you know? So now we're going to go from there. You already know I can. We know where we're going to go now. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It reads, this is the book of Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, here is the death angel, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, right, which is a people before us, a place to talk about your Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and your confusion of faces, 
and then confusing their faces are the um the Israelites who look like the other nations, but through the seed of their father, you know what I'm saying, are uh are um are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You know, regardless of what they look like. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Exactly, man. And that mark, go back to the Hebrew word, the wild, which means exempt from judgment, man. A.K.A. the knowledge, man. So those who are of the elect and have the knowledge of Yahweh, Bashima, Shai, and endure, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the ones that's going to be exempt from judgment. What judgment is it talking about? Jacob's trouble and ultimately the destruction of America with the ICBM missiles, man. Because as simultaneously as the uh, uh, the elect is getting beamed up, the missiles are going to be coming down and destroying this place, man. You know, you know, and and, and, and the men of the Lord are all down the hours and hedges and making these YouTube videos and signing the crying to Yah by Shema Shah and breaking out all the wickedness of our people or what they're doing. And what the other nations are doing, man. You know, and linking it up with the scriptures. You know? Um, yeah, verse 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go after him through the city and smite. Which, that go that word smite again. Which the word smite means to kill. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young. Right, that means the old. Old people and younger people. The word slave means to kill. So kill young people and old people. Both maids. Which the word maids meaning young women. And little children. And women. Right. The word women there is twice man. Because you know the um, women out uh, outnumber men. I believe it's what a seven to one. Or something like that. So it's a lot, of, it's a lot more women than men. You know. So the majority of the two thirds. That's going to die, you know what I'm saying, are women, man, the women of our nation, man, you know. And that's what it's talking about in the scripture, you know. And it reads, uh, and the other nations, women and men are going to be destroyed as well, man. And it reads, um, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Slack you. Uh, and begin at my sanctuary. When they began with the ancient men who were before the house, exactly, man. You know, uh, the older men, the elders, that's uh, the older generation, man. The older generation failed our generation, you know. So, and also the uh, the uh, the older men in the truth that fell out and went back into the world, man. You know, hey, hey, look, man, you're gonna be destroyed, man, because you didn't endure until the end. You know, even though you was there. Darn near from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? At the end, you're going to be destroyed because you didn't endure, man. You know? Um, so now, so now, you know, we got to get that scripture. We brought the scripture out yesterday with the uh, elder, uh, and another brother from South Carolina. This is the book of uh, Luke 17 and 26. This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking the word already in the red, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Verse 27. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Exactly, man. So everybody was pretty much living their best lives, man. You know? Going to these clubs, being in that mirth spirit, man. You know, just living their best lives, man. You know? Marrying women. Uh, uh, settling down here in America, trying to uh, 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 plan ahead in the future, you know? That's what they did back then, and that's what they're doing now, man, you know? But let's see what's going to happen. Verse 28, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, and they planted, they to build. Exactly, man, so they was... Uh, 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 trying to establish their own, um, how should I say, their own businesses. They try to uh, uh, do the things that that's not gonna prosper them, man. You know, like in the days of Noah, you know, Noah was out there prophesying that it was gonna rain and that, and it was gonna um flood the earth. You know, 
You know, and uh, and if you won't get right to with the Lord, the Lord's going to destroy you with the rain, man. It's going to, you know, water's going to fall out the sky. And people laughed at him to scorn, man. You know, it was all funny games until that water started falling out that sky, man. You know, and the same thing at the days of Lot. You know, the uh, the, the Lot son-in-laws uh, 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 mocked him, man. Because they're like, hey, man, you crazy, man. This place not going to be destroyed, man. You know, what are you talking about? You know? So it was the same days of Lot as well. You know, there was follow, there was being folly. You know what I'm saying? There was uh, partying and BSing. There was in that biggie small spirit. Verse 29. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Exactly, man. So everybody who wasn't right during the days of Lot and during the days of Noah, if they wasn't of that elect, number to be uh, to have mercy on they was destroyed man you know in the days of Noah, they were destroyed by water during the days of lot they was destroyed by fire and during the days of loyal house shall deliver his elect this time they're going to be destroyed by fire as well man even uh um the scripture says of second peter the third chapter is fervent heat man you know so it, it, it's very high heat man you know the same radiation that hits Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be the same thing that's going to destroy America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Verse 30, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Exactly, man. So Lord, when Lord Yahweh shall come back, man, you know, hey, it's going to be nothing, it's going to be party time and it's going to be destroying. Man. It's going to be nothing but destruction, you know. So, hey, man, you know, hey, with that, I can, you know, Lord, when this video was edifying. For Yakim's editors watching, you know, just going in on the Lord is not a respecter of persons, man. You know, the Lord is not a respecter of person. You know, if you're not right with the Lord, the Lord is going to destroy you. You know, and the Lord's willing to be a part of that elect number or one third to be delivered. So, hey, with that, I want to say, call her lawyer, lock about you, walk about you, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Machakotash. Next up, double honors to our apostles, not elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy unto the Yachims out there who is pushing this truth from the four corners of the earth. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wakwam Yashirala.